So, Next let's comment. get into some positives. Yes. Because the June MPD just released. Um, and some good news. Relatively good news. Um, the top Nintendo game for the month was ARMS. No surprise. Uh, that, that debuted at number five for the month. And it, it sold 256,000 units. That's combined digital and physical. Uh, that, that I mean, that's for a brand new IP on a platform that is really hard to get your hands on right now. And very limited install base. That's that. I mean, that's not bad. You know, we could we could be talking by end of summer. We could be looking at half a mil. And this is just in uh, this is just in North America. So, oh, nice. you know, you oh. you look at worldwide, it could already be close to a million units sold. So it's definitely off to a good start, just like Splatoon was. Um, notably, it was behind uh, Crash Bandicoot at four, GTA Five at three, Tekken Seven. Oh, sorry, Tekken Seven at one, Justice Two, GTA Five, Bandicoot. So it was behind all those games. Um, but again, you know, you're talking Tekken Seven, pretty big franchise. Uh, we're talking about Injustice Two again. The first game was great. The second game's pretty good too. Grand Theft Auto V, the game that just keeps on selling, it's also multi-platform, so that's combined sales across all platforms, so, I mean, a single-platform game against that, and obviously Crash Bandicoot, um, that was the Insane Trilogy uh, remake, yeah, remaster thing, um, which kind of just proves that Crash Bandicoot is really, really popular, and they probably should have never stopped making Crash <laughs> Bandicoot right. games, uh, right. but... It is what it is. I mean, Naughty Dog, I think, was the ones who made it, and they moved on. Obviously, they made great games since. But, um, so what's really cool, though, is that Nintendo Switch itself has three Nintendo games in the top ten still. That's uh, awesome. So ARMS was at number five. Uh, Breath of the Wild was at number six. And the estimate right now is about 190,000. They don't have any um, numbers listed here for Breath of the Wild. For some reason, it's only got monetary, like how much money it made listed. It must be because Nintendo didn't provide enough data. But they do know that it sold 145000 physical. But they also know that the game right behind it, Mario Kart 8, sold 180000 So that means that it would have had to sold more than 180000 units. So mm -hmm. they don't know what the digital sales were. But based on the money that was reported, they're guessing around 190000 units. So, I mean, still, in June, 190000 units in number six. When did this game come out again? March? Yeah. On a single platform? Oh, yeah. Because if you look at the list, it's full of a ton of multi-platform games, except for the Nintendo ones, and Crash, of course. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that, I mean, that's that's impressive that it's basically right on the edge of top five, only kicked out by another Nintendo game. Um, and obviously Mario Kart 8, I mentioned, you know, Deluxe, it's 180,000. Um, and uh, it, kind of to, to something I did mention in my notes is that PlayStation 4 was, again, number one hardware in June. Uh, Switch is rumored to have been number two. Uh, the exact numbers haven't been provided by Nintendo yet. Uh, and it sounds like the reason that Switch isn't number one is just because there wasn't enough hardware to actually get to number one available exactly. to purchase. Yeah. So like, it's not like PlayStation 4 is just running away with it. Nintendo just doesn't have enough units for people to buy to catch up. Right, um, and I think that they've shown like a history of the sales from the early days of PS4 to Switch. Um, you know, from exact timeline, you know, week number 15 yeah. for Switch and 15 for... And it's still, like, way ahead of PS4. In yeah, and, and, and this isn't to discredit PS4. They, they had their slim version come out. Um, their slim one terabyte, apparently, was, like, the best seller last month. And that's good. I mean, you know, they just had Crash was one of the best-selling games. So, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, PlayStation 4 is right. selling. Uh, this isn't to discredit, you know, their sales. It's just to state that Nintendo sales likely could have been better if they could have had the oh, well, units in the market. I mean, respect whereas there's plenty of PlayStation 4s in the market, and Sony's caught up to demand a long time ago. Um, so yeah. Nintendo's kind of strapped by how much units they can get out. And if you don't believe me, just check out the 3,000-plus people lines that are happening in Japan. On That's a, what I was just going to like, say. Like going yeah. nuts, trying to get the only 250 units available, but 10,000 people line up. It's like, what? What's the point? Yeah, there's a rat if you're at the Cause, end, no, because it's a lottery. It's so strange. You get a lottery number when you're in the line. So you, and then at, when the time hits to sell it, they spin a thing, pull pull 250 numbers out, and then you get a chance to get it. So that's the point of showing up. So you don't have to actually sit in line for 18,000 hours. You can just show up two minutes beforehand and get your lottery number. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Well, they might cut off lottery numbers 15 minutes beforehand. I don't know. I'm, I don't live in Japan. But Interesting. The, the idea is that you don't have to wait all night. Interesting. Um. 
Maybe people are like, oh, if I get like number one, it's gonna matter. And it doesn't really matter. It's a lottery. <laughs> In fact, I don't think number one was one of the two fifties. So oh, that I don't think any of the top ten were one. Of that blows. Anyways, yeah, because you could kind of probably. Oh, wait, sixteen hours? Are you kidding yeah, me? I'm like, right. sure, you didn't have to. It's a lottery. Um, <laughs> and Japan's been doing this for a while, so it, it sounds weird because we would never do that in the United States, but. It is what it is, and and like, and you, you just hear two hundred fifty units. When's the last time my local retail store had two hundred fifty units? <laughs> yeah. So Nintendo was even <laughs> giving Japan a ton of Around units here. Never, never. <laughs> yeah, usually it's like five to ten at most. Um, yeah, and I know our local GameStop. Oh, yeah, our local GameStop has had units every day for this week because they had a shipment for Splatoon two. But apparently, what I heard is that the shipment they got all the shipment at once. But they were told by GameStop management to limit per sales per day. So they could technically have units available every day for people who really want to get a hold of the first Splatoon. And of course, mm -hmm. if you want to guarantee one, you can go on their website and order the Splatoon 2 bundled unit for like oh, $480. Um, and get a whole bunch of stuff and you might not want. We're not going to save you any money either. No. You know? <laughs> it's not actually a deal. It's just like buying everything individually. But we make more money because we sell more product. Um, and and to be fair, races. Come on. one of their bundles wasn't that bad. If you don't own a Switch, one of it was like uh, Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8, uh, Breath of the Wild, a Pro Controller, and the Switch. And if you don't own a Switch and you plan to buy all this stuff anyways, that's not right, a bad right. deal. No, no. Yeah, um, awesome. But, I mean, not everyone's ready to shell out 600 bucks. They might just want to get the system in one game now and get that rest of that stuff when they get more money. Um, right. So it's kind of starting to favor people who have more disposable income, but... Again, that's what GameStop's been doing this forever. What with their does it? It's funny because like I'm like, oh, it's sold out everywhere. I'm like, what do you mean? I can go buy it right now on the GameStop website for like five hundred dollars. Right, you're gonna spend five, six hundred bucks on the Switch. Clearly, those bundles aren't selling that well if they're not sold out. Is kind of my point. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so anyways, it, it just just bringing up in general that uh, the Switch is doing really really well sales wise still. No one, I mean, I'm not saying no one cares about the app, but the app didn't exist for any of these sales. It's not stopping people being hyped for Splatoon 2 in Japan, obviously. Um, Splatoon 2 is probably still going to be a killer set. Like, I, I think Splatoon 2 is going to end up outselling the original Splatoon by a large margin. I really hope so. It was already huge in Japan, and what's huge in Japan? Handheld gaming. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't released on a handheld last time, so... This yeah, is going to be had released with so few features and had built up over time. Whereas this starts with a crap ton of features. Well, you, if you think about it, it build over time. there was ten thousand people waiting at one location, just just one location of several that were selling switches this week. So ten thousand people to be like a top five seller on their charts per week, you only need like ten thousand sales. Mm -hmm. So it's like just just by the numbers waiting in line that want to get Splatoon two. It's like, yeah, it's going to sell. It, it's going to sell like crazy. I wouldn't even be surprised in Japan if more, just like in the United States, or what was it, worldwide, there were more copies of Breath of the Wild sold than Switches sold Switches, yeah. during launch month. I'm sure that that's probably not true anymore, but during launch month it was. I could see that being for Splatoon, like more copies of Splatoon 2 sell in Japan than available Switches. <laughs> I could totally see that. That wouldn't surprise me either. Because Splatoon 2 is like huge in Japan. It, it potentially could be as big, if not bigger, than Monster Hunter. Could even compete with Pokemon yeah. if, like, now that it's on a handheld. Oh. It's gonna be yeah, until Pokemon comes to the Switch. And what's crazy is yeah. it's that big while being mostly a multiplayer game. Right. Yeah, yeah that's a crazy thing. Like, it's actually a game that, oh, yeah, but it's portable. I'm like, yeah, but you still need an online connection. Yeah. Granted, Japan actually has, like, online. Um, yeah, actually, well, the U.S. has some of the worst internet. Yeah, U.S. Well, internet. Yeah. Yeah, it also helps that Japan is not all that big relative to the United well, States. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so they have a lot of money over there too. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of money here. We just wasted our things. Um, so, like, hey, we could have had a, a, a speed train built from Chicago through Madison, Eau Claire, and up to Twin Cities. We could have been, we could have been uh, going. We could, I could have been working down in Chicago. Yeah. And been able to just hop on a train for 20 minutes. Yeah, that's... Well, a little bit a little longer than 20 minutes. But it would have been less time than it takes me to drive, that's for sure. Yeah. Our governor. And that got vetoed down that. because that's not worth spending money on, you know, yeah. public transportation to let people actually work who live in the suburbs. 
So no, like right now, if I want a good job, I got to work in Minnesota, but I can't afford to live in Minnesota, so I got to live an hour and a half away in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, anyways, just just my own personal frustrations with what we choose to spend money on, what we don't. Um, and I know some people might fire back at me. Oh, but they funded the Milwaukee Bucks Stadium. Shut up. I wanted to keep the Bucks here. Solar panel wall. I don't think the Milwaukee Bucks are why we don't have built a solar panel. Well, I don't. And I think that they just, they just announced that, or at least Elon Musk announced that they funded the Hyperloop from uh, what was it DC to New York. <laughs> of course, that's that pretty sweet. Then you can go nice. to New York and then take a day trip over to DC. That'd be amazing. Yeah, yeah. like why don't we have this kind of public transportation everywhere? I, anyways, I know we're like a bigger country and there's a lot of things to consider, but we have money. At least it seems like we have money. We pretend we have money. Yeah. I mean, I know we're trillions and hundreds of trillions of dollars in debt or whatever, and our, our, our government owes everyone, but, I mean, our local our local states have money. The government, the, the federal government just doesn't have any. The federal government owes the local states all a bunch of money. Yeah, well. <laughs> anyways. I think everybody's accepted that they're never going to see that money anyways. So. Oh, I know, like China? China's just going to keep putting up with the fact we owe them because we're their primary consumer base, so. Yep. Um, anyways, I just thought that was kind of cool to talk about. Um, that the Switch had really good sales for games like last last month, three games specifically. Uh, you could also say Minecraft was also on the list. That's also on Switch, so Switch sales were going to be counted in that. Um, so yeah, I mean, just Nintendo, three of the top ten with games that are single platform only is impressive. Yeah, it is impressive. Uh, so good, good on you, Nintendo, and hopefully you can get enough Switches out there. So in one of these months, you end up number one in hardware because you actually have enough hardware to meet demand. <laughs> uh, or is the app going to hurt demand? And now that word of mouth gets around that, hey, if you were going to buy Splatoon 2 in voice chat, <laughs> you might want to skip. Hopefully that, that yeah. doesn't come with that. I, I still think it's... I still, people, I still want are gonna, to people, I think, are still, if you want Splatoon 2... I don't think it's going to hurt it that bad, just because I, you could still use Discord, you can still use Skype, you can still use all these other things. But Sure, you could, but we have to remember, as a general consumer, doesn't know what Discord is. They oh, might, no, I know. They might know what Skype is, maybe, if they work at a company that uses it. Yeah. But they probably never thought, well, oh, let me use that for gaming. Yeah. yeah. And that's what you got to remember. Like, the people who use Discord tend to be more tech-savvy people. Um. People yeah. people who game on consoles tend to be the kind of people that don't know about the things that aren't on consoles. Yeah, very true. So, um, or aren't on consoles by default, I should say. <laughs> I think Discord is on uh, Xbox One. 